the nights have been silent along the three rivers. As the holiday season began, the Steelers started their skid. The Steelers have lost three in a row. The Bengals have caught fire since these two teams last played in November, and so it should be interesting. There has been heavy interest in who will be guiding the Steelers' offense. Mason Rudolph gets the start, his first one in a couple of years. Rudolph, what? won't you guide Steelers Nation to a victory tonight? For Cincinnati, their new starter, Jake Browning, was looking to unwrap a fourth straight win. Jake Browning is hot. It's going to be a big, big deal what the back end of the defense does today. Hey, Jack, welcome back, brother. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's Good get to be it. <laughs> the only thing on the wish list this year was a win. Let Rudolph lead you all the way like Santa Slay tonight to the end zone. That's what I'm hoping for, guys. It took Mason Rudolph only two plays to guide the offense to the end zone. Caught by Pickens. He's on his way. He's at the 40, the 50, the 45, the 40. Here comes George Pickens all the way for a Pittsburgh Steelers touchdown. 86 yards. And don't you know it, that's sweeter than Nelly's blueberry pie, baby. What a Christmas treat. That is absolutely the best throw to start things off right there. Wow. Fellas, that is fireworks. And this stadium has been <laughs> waiting for that moment all season. Ready to start a game. The key, Billy, now is that you got to capitalize on it. They got to keep it up, keep that momentum going. Now he dances in the pocket, throws that pass down the field, and it's wide open and pulled in by T. Higgins, middle of the field, across midfield, and down to the Pittsburgh 45. Oh, he is hit as he throws that pass up into the air, and it is pulled in. Cincinnati was on the move to even up the score. Bubble screen to the left, Tyler Boyd, and he's forced out of bounds near sideline. But Pittsburgh's defense would play the role of Grinch. Bengals have a third and eight at the 15. Browning flushed out of the pocket, being chased by Captain Cam. He's going to throw the ball down the field, and it's intercepted in the end zone by Patty Pete. <laughs> there you go. That's what you need. You put the young man under extreme pressure. He lost the ball trying to just throw it away, Billy. But who's there? Pat Pete. Someday, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. Right now, he's playing center field for the Steelers, and he got his pick. I told y'all I was going to get my first pick as a safety today. Did I say it? I said I was going to get my first pick today as a safety. Peterson gifted the offense their first of three takeaways. And the Steelers found a way to capitalize on each one. And Najee gets the call. Look at that pile move. Up over the 25 to the 27. Seven yards on first down is good mojo. The pass is caught by Allen Robinson. More than enough for the first down. Back is Rudolph, and he completes a pass on the crossing route. Jalen Warren turns it up the field. Crosses the 50 and gets inside the 40 down to the 37-yard line. Steelers up 7-0, trying to get to the red zone here. Caught on the far sideline, toe dance by Allen Robinson. Najee off the left side, burst through to the 10, and a first and goal at about the six yard line. Oh, what a nice job. He got a great trap block by James Daniels, just grounded and pounded his man, and he drove his man to the ground. What a job, nice block, better run. Dealers up 7 0, trying to get more. Oh, man, it's oh. touchdown right here. Touchdown, touchdown. What is it? In motion, and Calvin Austin takes it going right to left. He gets to the end zone for the Pittsburgh Steelers touchdown. Seven yards on the jet sweep right to left for the second year man out of Memphis, Calvin Austin, the third. When you saw the jet motion, whammo! 
Austin lights it up. He takes that rock and goes around the corner, finds that open lane, and heads north and south into the end zone. And the Steelers are up big time, Billy. This is big stuff. But I said, Jalen smacked this. You have to keep the momentum. Keep their foot on the pedal. So let's see some sacks now. That's what I want to see, guys. <laughs> let's see some sacks. That is Browning. Big rush. Marker down. And he is down to the ball. Came out. TJ Watt gets the sack. The Bengals get the ball. Oh, you got a beat frenzy going on here, Billy. They smell blood in the water. Jonah Williams, the right tackle, Billy, was all over trying to hang on to T.J. Watt. But Superman, you can't dug on Superman's cape. You can't let up, man. Yeah. We cannot yes, let up. Let's go, T. We cannot let up. The injuries to the middle of the Steelers' defense have taken a toll. But instead of landing on the island of misfit toys, players found a home in Pittsburgh. Bengals, first and 10, trailing 14 to nothing. Big rush. And he throws the ball down the field. Intercepted. That's Eric Rowe. Eric Rowe is going to turn it upfield. He's coming to the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, and he's knocked out of bounds. How about that? Two big Oskies for this Steelers defense. That pass intended for Tyler Boyd. Oh, what a way to make a splash with your teammates than to come along here and be Eric Rowe and get a pick. Get an Oski, as you called it, Billy. Welcome back. Rudolph under center, Najee the lone setback. Najee gets the call, Najee fights his way to the goal line. Touchdown Pittsburgh Steelers! Najee Harris, his fifth of the year, and the party is on at Akershore. What a slam a jamba type of run. Get behind those big hogs on the right side and on the left side. And the Iron Horse crosses that goal line with the big skin. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. Second down, six in the shotgun. Browning takes the snap. He's back. Fires it down the field. The pass is pulled in by Tyler Boyd. Steelers miss a tackle. He's running down the field, crosses the 50. He throws the out pattern, and it's pulled in by Tyler Boyd inside the 30. Fourth down and less than a foot. Well, I got to believe they're going to go for it. You're down 21 nothing. Fourth and inches. He wants to throw it. Big rush. He throws it for the end zone. Incomplete in the end zone. What a play by Joey Porter Jr. on T. Higgins. Mono e mono. And you got yourself Joey Porter making the play of the day. That's a huge play, man. Good job. Come on, Joey. Rudolph's arm was like a Red Ryder BB gun, quick firing and on target. Give the flat to Jalen Warren, turns it upfield. He gets the first down, I do believe. What a play on the near sideline, and that is Deontay Johnson pulling that pass in with just enough to move the sticks. And back is Rudolph. He has time, he throws it long down the field. George Pickens is open. Does he do the toe dance? They say yes! Yes! Wow! <laughs> You want to see some magic and poetry in motion, Billy. Oh, what a throw. What a catch. Man. The ball is down, the low snap. The kick is on its way by the Boz. It's long enough, high enough, and it's good. 50-yard field goal by the Boz on the last play of the second quarter, and the Steelers extend their lead to 24-0. Don't you just love it, Billy? This is the way it's supposed to be. You got to love this. Man, they're, they're full of fight tonight. The 24-point halftime deficit was the largest in the Zach Taylor era, but their stocking wouldn't be empty after all. Browning in the gun from his 20, gets the snap, throws it over the middle. Uh-oh, there's T. Higgins on his way. He's at the 40, he's at the 35, the 30, and he's gonna go 80 yards for a Bengals touchdown. So they're gonna try the two-pointer here. Shotgun snap, runs to his left, and he shovels the pass and it's pulled in, and that is Joe Mixon for the two-pointer. And it's 24 to eight. The Bengals' offense seemed to be heating up, but the hottest thing this Festivus night was George Pickens. The 
Bengals bring the blitz. Touch pattern down the left sideline. George Pickens to the 10-5. To Touchdown. He beat corner a woozy badly. And I'll tell you what, Mason Rudolph laid it in there perfectly. Billy, you are so correct. I was sitting there watching going, we got a single high, and they go get George Pickens, who flies into the end zone. I'm telling you, sensational job between Mason Rudolph and George Pickens, communicating and then executing. 195 yards and catches, two touchdowns for George Pickens. Steelers Nation had plenty of reasons to spread their cheer loudly for all to hear. And hit from the blind side by Alex Highsmith. Alex Highsmith, how do you do? Fires a pass down the middle. Intercepted! Alex Highsmith ranging back, dove and caught that ball. That is their third interception of this football game. Alex Eismith shown he's more than just a pass rusher. He's more than just an edge setter. This guy can do it all. That was awesome. That's not going to slow motion. That was a pick. That was a pick. Big rush. They got him, and Miles Jack gets a sack. How about that? <laughs> so you got two trifectas. You got three sacks, and you got three picks. Welcome back, baby. Welcome back, baby. But it has been an impressive win for the Pittsburgh Steelers, both sides of the ball. There's no question about that. It's a total, total win effort. And get out of here, do the Steelers with a big win over the Bengals. Final score, Pittsburgh 34, Cincinnati 11.